honestly, because some people don't believe it. Like, nah, you probably apply for a job. I've always heard through a lot of television stations that either they hire within through the interns or they go seek in um, small, small circles. And so uh, by that being all the way out in New York, too, it's not that I ever felt like I would never catch a break. And it's not even catching a break. I feel like I've done pretty well for myself thus far. And um, you strive every day. And like I, like I said before, you always perform at your best. You never know who's watching. You never know every time people listen in five to 10 in, in, minute increments. So you, who's to say who clicks in at that time and hears you or is following you on Twitter or sees you on Facebook or on YouTube or anything. And it's like all of these different social networkers we have um, take advantage of them in the right way, at least. Um, and that's, I guess, how they found me. And uh, even if it was from, shout out to Source Magazine for putting me, that's, that was so huge to me too, for them to reach out to me, put me in as um, <clears throat> one of the premier DJs, uh, radio personalities in the business as a female. It's like huge. I haven't been, um, I guess, on air as long as other people, but it's just, um, and it's not a competition with other people. I, I feel like the only competition you really have is with yourself. Is to always strive and, and be the best you. Sometimes you knock yourself more than anything. You, I'll be my toughest critic. Um, Cause I just want to be good, and it's not everybody wants to be accepted. But when you go and you lay in your bed at night, you have to live with you. You can't lie to yourself. And so I just want to always make sure that I'm okay and take care of me. And so um, I guess perform, performing those things. I don't know how to this day they don't tell me who was the person <laughs> or how they found me. They just tell me that they they seen me on the internet before. Um, and however, and see, man, my heart dropped. I'm be 100. Uh, I thought it was Bill Collector calling me because it was a different area code. I'm so used to seeing <laughs> two four eights and three one threes, and and I looked at this number and I had missed the call three times, and and then I looked and and I checked my voicemail, and and he said B T. I was just like, oh my god, like my body. I just I was so excited. But I also have that security with myself by having to know. So I have to do my research and make sure that these people are legit. Because I don't know people can call you and say they work for whoever. I don't know. So um, I, I hurried up and I called back because I said, ooh, at least he called me three times. So I hurried up and called back. And um, I was talking to him and I said, oh my God, it's real. And so then uh, they said, well, you know, sorry, it's last minute, but I have to be out the next the next morning. And uh Thankful of the, the bosses that I have now at the radio station of allowing me to do that and go. Um, it was just a great experience to be out there. And to, New York is different. Detroit is a big city, but New York is so fast. You think people sell Gucci bags and in everything here? Everybody does something in New York. Everybody, the man on the block with the rats coming out of his hat is a star in some form or fashion. People know him. So it's just like, wow, this huge city that never sleeps. And I got invited to come here. That's, I'm doing something right. So it was just like an accomplishment, like to pat myself. And at that time, I think I was proud of myself when I got on the radio. But at that time, I just was really proud of myself. And I had to like have a talk with myself. Dang, I, you did it. Like you was doing something right and, and you impressed someone. I made an impact somehow. And um, I did what I did there. And just to get those callbacks. And um, every day I didn't even know what I was going to go do. But I mean, if BT was to call you, but you just be like, oh no, I'm straight. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to go. I'm going to go find out what it is. So once I got there, and then um, I got the call about uh, email, about being on Notarized. And I was like, oh, I watch it every year. And it was funny because my, um, my, at the time I, couldn't, I wasn't really promoting it because. I kind of want to know, I want to see it first. I want to know that it's going to air. You don't want to throw stuff out there and then, I ain't see you on no BET, girl. You weren't even out there. Was you? She wasn't ever there. She wasn't in New York, y'all. And so um, once I found out that it was really going to air and then we was able to shoot it in Detroit, I think that was so much bigger than me to shoot it in my city and um, get that exposure to Detroit because a lot of people think that being in this city, no one's looking for us. Nobody checking for us. It's not the old Motown you know, um, the car companies are down. Like, you know, people are not really checking for the talent and, and find a, a young girl, you know, black girl like that. BT is huge. I mean, how much bigger does it get? 
as black entertainment television is huge. And so for them to look towards me as I've dreamt of this, this is everything I've ever, ever wanted in life. I, I mean, I have other dreams and aspirations, but um, with radio and television, I just, I'm so thankful. And so uh, once they told me about Notarize and I actually knew the date it was coming on and we got to promote it and then it came back and said, you know what, we're going to have y'all host, we're going to have you host 106 in Park. And I was like, I made it. I have officially made it. <laughs>